recorded live with little or no editing. It's Defense Up Cosmic Crucible Edition. I'm Run7. How you doing? Today we got a good one. It's Hollywood. A friend of mine sent these picks in. If you want your defenses featured, whether they be War or Crucible, DM me. Links in the description. We try to go over these Monday, Wednesday, Friday live on Twitch. You can join us there for the behind the scenes conversation, which most of the time doesn't make it into the stream recycles, but sometimes it does. And you can always watch the VODs. I made those available so you don't have to subscribe. But then you got to watch all those stupid commercials. Anyways... We have a team of super smart people plus myself that go over these. So if you don't like the suggestions that we're putting forth, you can blame Juicy and Pathfinder who joined me today or anybody else in my chat. All right, team number one on Hollywood's defense is the Young Avengers. You could do some placement tweaks. You could make Kate Bishop a skirmisher. She doesn't have the seventh star in there. She's a little bit smaller, not much smaller. She's anyway. You could do some things to this. We don't think that the Young Avengers is big enough to be exciting in any case, so it's kind of a filler defense. Not a whole lot going wrong here. Possible things that we could do better, but overall, it gets the A. Just barely, but we'll give it the A. All right, and next up, we have the Guardians team. Now, the three members there, Thor, Mighty Thor, and Valkyrie are clumped together, and we don't like that. You want to mix Heimdall in there somewhere because there are some counters that do really well when they spread things around or flip things. So we, we like to break those up and move somebody over in place of Heimdall. Doesn't really matter. You just kind of want to try and spread it around. It's a better thing to do. Also, Thor is a striker is a no-no. We have gone over this a lot, done the math. Raider's where it's at. The math just says Raider does way more damage than Striker does. If you want to put Striker on somebody, it should be Mighty Thor or Valkyrie. In any case, there are several counters that beat this team, like the, uh, or, let's see, it's New Warriors plus Star-Lord plus Spider-Man, OG Spider-Man. That's a good one. It's the one I use on this. Spider-Man spreads defense down. Star-Lord gives Dagger the energy so that it's a wombo combo on turn one with the New Warriors. Blows them up and pretty much kills them before they get the chance to do anything. It's a very efficient one, or you could just Eternals it, something like that. So they're not super scary on defense. It's kind of a filler defense, but we're not going to be using them on offense either, so it's not too bad. So I definitely want the ISO change on Thor, a placement change. I'm going to give this a B+. Team number three is the Spider Weaver Tangled, Tangled Speed Up Team. Okay, so... A lot of us, myself included, are pulling the Tangled Web team for offense so that you can mirror when you see Tangled Webs on defense. This one you can't really mirror because this is as fast as it gets. However, Spider-Man Noir is a total waste on this team. He's not doing anything. If you want to run this super fast Tangled team, we need to replace Noir with something that's going to do damage. You could throw in a Surfer here. He does combine with the Hero Cosmic Cable down there for a little bit of synergy. You could throw in... I don't know. You could throw in Red Hulk or you could throw in Dormammu in here would probably be a better fit. We don't really like this build. You're using two speed adjusting teams, uh, boons in here, and it's going to get beat. Like Infinity Watch is going to beat this team, but it really doesn't matter. I think pull this whole team, use it to beat their Spider Weaver team on defense. <clears throat> So I really don't like this. I think it's kind of a waste. Other options are to throw in Phoenix and Wolverine in place of Emma and Colossus. And then like you could put, like I said, Dormammu in there in place of Noir. Noir's just not big enough to hang with this. He's a total waste. And uh, Cable isn't big enough to beat the resistance check. Even if you did make him a skirmisher, he's probably not gonna be stripping the revives against a Dormammu team coming into this. So. It's just not what we like. I'm going to give this team a C. I think it's pretty met. Let's pull it. Let's use them for offense and do something better. Moving on is the unlimited team. Here's a place that you could put Emma in place of Phantom X speeding the team up. You could also throw in Dormammu here if you wanted to, but I kind of like Emma making this team a little bit faster. So they have to come into it with unlimited plus Emma and Cable which is really restricting and tough to do. So that's a good thing to do. This team is fine. They're not getting really anything from the latent power. So it's it's not a great place to put them, but it's there's nothing else to replace them with. The rooms, it's all about Age of X. That's what I'm trying to say. It's all about Age of X. Isos are good, placement's good. This is fine if you want to run a straight unlimited on defense, but I think that probably throwing Emma in here might make it 
a real sticking point in your defense. And in this defense, we're going to see some teams that are filler and we're going to see some teams that are sticking points. This is a sticking point right here. This is going to be tough to get over and you can make it even tougher by throwing Emma in here. So I'm going to go A minus. I'd like to see Emma in place. Team number five is the Axemen. This is a filler defense right here. They're a good team and all, but they're just not built for Crucible. They get a lot of bonuses from Age of X. People are no longer underestimating them. We have all the counters, like Young Avengers counters this team really well. Surprisingly really well. Young Avengers just kind of mops the floor with them. 200k punch-ups and whatnot. What we could do is, again, we could throw Dormammu in here in place of Kitty and make this team a lot better. But this is probably just going to remain a filler defense. You've got Striker on Bishop, Skirmisher on everybody else, Healer on Beast, that's fine. Benny Westside likes to put Bishop in the middle with Jubilee and Beast of all things adjacent to him. That way they get damaged, they drop lower in the health and Beast gets the speed. It's a gamble, but it can pay off in Crucible. That's an option for you. People are trying that out. Getting some positive results, but again, you're rolling the dice. But sometimes in Crucible, that's what you need to do to win. So I'm going to go ahead and give this team an A for now. It's nothing that excites me, but it's not a waste. It's nothing done wrong. We could probably do some other things with it, but for now, it's okay. It's just a filler. And then finally, in room six, we have the Dormhold team on defense. Now, we talked about taking Dormammu and putting him on some of those other teams to make them a lot tougher, and I think that's what should happen here. I think that the, the Darkhold team is fine on defense. You could also throw in Kingpin in place of Dormammu. That changes it up a little bit. It's still a little bit new and catches people off guard. That's a thing to do. Makes it a little tougher. So that's probably my recommendation is throw Kingpin in here in place, but you could just make it a five-piece Darkhold team and be just fine with that. Um, yeah, so this is a sticking point, and this is a sticking point, but they can be better. And then this team right here could be a sticking point if you wanted to throw, say, Dormammu and something else in here, or maybe just Dormammu in place of, of, of Noir would, would be pretty good. That would give you three pretty powerful defenses, or again, you could mix this team up to make them a little bit better and get something going. That way you'd go heavy enough on defense. Right now, Hollywood simply has two pretty good defenses, but I think it could be better. I'm gonna go A- minus for this team. I think we should pull Dormammu off of it, put him somewhere else previously, try and up the ante on those defenses. The other three teams can just be left uh, as filler and that's fine. You wanna try and make those sticking points for your opponent to stumble on and hopefully have enough left over in your offense that you can beat your opposition's defense. That's kind of the how it all works here in Cosmic Crucible. If you like what you saw, please hit like, subscribe, all that jazz. For more videos, I will try to be put, putting these out more often. I ran into some health issues this week, and so I am trying to recuperate. I will not be here Friday, taking uh, Friday off for Thanksgiving uh, like everybody else is. So enjoy your holiday weekend, everybody. Remember, don't just have a good game. Be good to yourselves and others, too. And I'll see you next time. Bye.